Hello, my name is Robert Rotzler. I'm the violinist for the band Middle Earth Ensemble. And today I'm going to show you how to play Led Zeppelin's Cashmere. Now, we're going to go into this with the fact that you already know how to play violin. You have a working knowledge of first position. That's all you need to play this song. Begins in first position. We're going to play this on the G and D strings to start. The familiar riff will begin with first finger on G string and an open D. And it's simply like this. There's your first interval. We're going to go up chromatically, that is a half step at a time, up the G string. Now, once again, first finger on A on the G string. Your second note will be B flat, second finger. You're going to slide the second finger up a half step to B. Your next note will be the half step above that C with the third finger. And then you can play the fourth finger or second finger in third position D and match the open string. So once again, that riff. Now, the other riff everyone knows with this song, and the one that keeps repeating over and over, is the motif. This is performed this way. Again, we do chromatic on the E string, second finger G, followed by F sharp, F natural, open E. Meanwhile, on the A string, at the same time, we're performing a double stop again. On the, on the A string, we have third finger D and second finger C. So what we have is for two notes on the A string, we'll have D and second finger C natural. Meanwhile, on the A string, we're going down chromatically each note. There's a two note break in there, which will be the C, or I'm sorry, the D, third finger D on the A string with second finger C sharp. We're going to repeat the same finger formation we just performed on the two higher strings. I'll show you now.
Okay, the second part of the song, which will occur after this break. the following notes. F, E, D, F, E, D, A, B, D, A. Those notes again. Those are played evenly. Then we play an octave A, first finger A on the G string, fourth finger A on the D string. And what we're going to want to do is glissando back the fourth finger. Now, if you're so inclined, there's another lick right here. That same lick. Those are the licks at that stage. There's one more section after we return to the main motif of and it goes to an open G and open D. Very simple. The first time this occurs we go right to a capoed first finger on the G and D string. Make sure that rings when played correctly. You'll hear A and E string ringing. You can ornament it like that. The second time the song occurs, and it's the ending motif, we actually play an Arabic line on the G string. That's what makes Led Zeppelin very unique here. Zeppelin's Cashmere. My name is Robert Rotzler. Stay tuned. I'll have more stuff for you to play. Till then. Three, four.